Hey guys, you're Marty Geek. In this video, I want to share with everybody out there that has a smartphone on how to get free online backing for your photos and videos, how to get creative with your photos and videos, and how to free up space on your smartphone as well. And the reason that I'm doing this is because I'm talking about Google Photos, which is an application from Google that has, has been getting way better with every update that Google does. And the thing is, it doesn't come uh, by default on every smartphone that you buy. There's so many smartphones out there in the market. And a lot of times you're going to have to actually download this application to have it on your phone. And this application is also available for iOS as well. A lot of people don't know, but yes, you can use this service on iOS as well. And it's very, very good. The application looks like that, which is very cool as well. Um, it has been getting a lot of updates. So first of all, let's go ahead and get started here. Um, here, when you open it up, you are in assistant. Uh, from right here, you can go ahead and create folders. So you just tap on the photos that you want and go ahead and hit create. And it's going to create a folder. You name it. You name the folder and all that. And that's it. That's how you do it. Um, another thing you can do here is create a collage. You could go and choose photos there, right? I'm going to choose photos, create. Uh, you can pick more photos if you want and just hit uh, generate or create and it's going to create a collage and from there you can of course share it or um, just delete it right now for the purpose of this video i'm just going to delete it uh, you can also create animations with your photos you could choose animations here like this 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 hit create and it's actually going to create like a like a gif or a gif however you want to call it um, of images and there you go what you see there very cool and of course, you can go ahead again, share it or, you know, just delete it right now. For the purpose of this video, I'm just deleting it. And also, you can go ahead and create a video. Uh, you can choose like one, two videos and a photos if you want as well. Hit create. You can pick more um, photos and videos. But remember, the more you pick, the more it's going to take, the longer time is going to take. Uh, you could put a title for it, any title that you want. Um, here you got right now. I think we hit play. So you see there, it automatically creates a video with all the the pictures and videos that you choose. That's very very cool. Um, here you could change the like uh, this right here is like basically um, filters for your videos. Click right there. Did it, did it choose it? Look at that. That's very cool. And of course, you can share it as well. Once you're done, you can go ahead and share it. Uh, you can also change the background music. You can choose the themes right here. You see there? You can choose the themes right here. Click right there, and it's going to be applied. Look at that. Very cool. And of course, here you could go ahead and pick, like, uh, delete a specific video that you don't want on the video. And that's it though. So basically that's how you do it. And it's a very cool feature that it actually integrated to the photo album that you're using. Now, uh, another thing that to keep in mind when you install this application for the first time is going to automatically back up your camera roll, the, the folder where all the photos that you take with the camera are going to be heading to. Right. But let's say you want to uh, back up other folders. Are you going to click right here, right here, right? Device folders. You can see all the folders right here. You see the camera, which is by default is going to be selected, and it has like a little cloud with a up arrow. Um, these, like you see here, these are not being backed up. These are not being backed up. But let's say I want to back up this folder. Click right there, and now it's going to be backed up. Wallpapers, okay, click right there, and now it's going to be backed up. Everything else is not going to be backed up. So if I click back, um, automatically it's going to start backing up the photo. Look at that. It's backing up the photos already. And we, we barely did that. Um, that's a cool thing to do there. Another thing you could do here, for example, if you are in albums, right? And you want to share like a, you want to share a folder with your family and friends. Uh, you could choose, for example, a folder here, right? Choose this one right here. You could choose share and here you can share uh, the photos album, the album to anybody. You could create a link and send it to um, somebody. You could send it via email, Facebook or something like that. But one thing to keep in mind is uh, make sure you check or uncheck this depending what group you're sharing it to. Because if you check it, right, um, anybody that you share the folder with is going to be able to add photos. Now, if you're 
having this, for example, on Facebook or something like that, you don't want people that you don't know adding photos or then you don't trust adding inappropriate photos. So you might want to keep it off. But if you are sharing photos with a group of people that you actually, uh, you know, trust, you could go ahead and select there. And that's how you share a folder and everybody can join in and add some more photos. That's a very cool feature there as well. Uh, now let's go ahead and manage our storage. Let's go ahead here, right? Let's go ahead to our account. Uh, let's go ahead to manage account here. Let's go to settings. Um, here you got camera shortcut. I recommend leaving that connect um, enabled that what it's going to do is like, for example, when you take a picture, it doesn't matter what smartphone you're doing, doing it with, take a picture. You're going to see this shortcut popping there. You click right there and now you have full access to the photos. You don't have to go to the, you know, to the album, look up for the album. You're going to have the photo right there. You can edit it. You can uh, share it or you can, of course, delete it if you don't like the way it looks. Okay, so now to manage your backup and sync, click right here where it says backup account. Uh, here you can see your account. Uh, it says backup and sync. Make sure, of course, it's enabled because if it's not enabled, it's not going to back up. Um, here, of course, you got backup device folders. You're going to see all the folders that are backed up. And like you see here, you can also enable folders from here as well. Um, here you got upload size. So keep in mind, when you get free unlimited storage, uh, it will reduce the size of the pictures a little bit, but it's still going to keep good quality. I've been using it for a long time and it's still going to have a great quality. That's how you get it unlimited. Um, if you want the photos in its full original resolution, that's when you're going to be using your storage right now. Like you see here, original. Um, I got 91 gigabytes of storage left. That's because I got like free promotional storage. So I'm, 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 I'm backing up. That's why it says 91 of 116 gigabytes left. That's because I was using um, uh, promotional storage that was given to me for free. Um, cellular backup. Make sure you choose this if you want to back up your photos while you're on your internet, normal cellular. If you just want to back up when you're on Wi-Fi, just make sure you um, uncheck it. That's how I keep it. Back up while the phone is charging. If you want to back up just like that, go ahead and click right there. And then it's only going to back up to the cloud when your phone is charging. Very self-explanatory. And of course, here is in roaming. Uh, another thing, if you want to buy storage for your original photos, right? Just click right there. It's going to show you guys all the storage that you have. Right now, I'm using 11 gigabytes and I have 115 gigabytes. But this is for original storage. By default, you get 15 gigabytes of free for original size photos. And from there on, there's, those are the prices. Like you see there, they're not that expensive. 100 gigabytes for $2 a month or 1 terabyte for $10 a month. And basically, that's it. But remember, you get unlimited photos backup if you use the high quality settings. That's the way I do it. And basically, that's it. Now, let's go ahead and free up space, right? We're here in our settings. And right now, look at the my, look at my phone. My phone is really, really, really filled up with applications and photos. And, and a lot of times, I have to delete or uninstall applications because... You know, I need space. Sometimes even my up my apps won't update because I'm out of space. So right here I have this phone has a 64 gigabytes um, card. So like you see there, system storage, 63 gigabytes, which is 64, of course. And I only have barely one gigabyte of storage left or available. Here I got unnecessary. I could go ahead and delete that and make a little bit of storage, but still I'm going to fall back to the same problem over and over again. So right here, let's go ahead and settings, right? We're in settings and photos, free up device space. So it says remove original photos and videos from your device that are already backed up. If we click right there, finding items that are already backed up. Now, at first, I was a little bit worried about doing this, a little bit hesitant, because, you know, you're actually deleting all your photos and videos to create space. Now, keep in mind, it will not delete the latest, like, for example, here it says delete 776 items. These photos and videos have already been safely backed up to your Google Photos library at the quality you've selected. You'll still be able to view them here at any time. 
So one thing to keep in mind is that it will delete, it will choose photos, I think, older than 30 days from your phone. So I think the physical original photos on your phone that are less than 30 days old, those are not going to be chosen. Uh, right here, let's go and choose delete. And I'm just going to go ahead and wait for this. That's a lot of photos and videos because I've been using this phone for a long time. It's my daily driver. So I'm going to go ahead and wait for this to finish. Okay, so we are done here. It should be finished already. So we click back. Remember, you even though we did this, even though we did delete all the videos and photos in your phone, uh, you're still going to be able to see all your photos because remember, this is connected to your cloud account. So every photo that you have here, if you open up a new phone, if you buy a new phone and you install Google Photos and you use the same account, Guess what? This is what you're going to see. You're going to see all the photos from your prior phone. That's the great thing about uh, Google Photos. Now, let's go ahead see go ahead here to um let's go ahead to freeze to my hard drive to see if it actually freed up how much we got back of storage. Let's go ahead for this to wait up. Uh, another thing is, of course, remember this application is also compatible with iOS as well. Uh, the other day, my friend did not know about it, and I told him, and he was surprised. He had an iPhone. He was basically shocked that he had photos from years and years ago, and he ne he doesn't remember when was the last time he used Google Photos. And look at this. Here it is. Now we're using just 58%, 26.4 of free storage, and I'm using 37 gigabytes. That's awesome. Like you see there, very cool, very awesome application. I recommend you try it out. And remember, this application is totally free, and it keeps getting better every time Google actually decides to add something um, here and there, I just hope they just don't add so many features that it actually clutters the um, the app. But so far, it, this app for me doesn't feel cluttered at all. It feels very good. It has all the necessary uh, features that a Al photo album should have. Uh, you know, the convenience of having free on online backing and freeing up space like you saw there it's totally worth it so let's go ahead and try it out so I'll, I'll leave a link in my description that way you could go ahead and try it out if you have an iphone or an ios device or an android device links are going to be in my descriptions let me know what you think about this video and i hope this actually helped you guys if you didn't know about this thanks for watching guys till next time